Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hi, it's Joe with Parts Express. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Dayton Audio OmniMic V2. The Dayton Audio OmniMic is a quick and accurate audio measurement system for audio system integrators, acoustic engineers, and residential AV installers. The intuitive software and accurate measurements will not only help you set up a high quality audio system, but save you time and money in the process. The OmniMic is compact, portable, accurate, and affordable. It's perfect for tuning home theater systems or measuring room acoustics. Some of the measurements you can do with the OmniMic include frequency response with phase and impulse response, SPL meter with A, B, C, or no weighting, harmonic distortion analysis, spectrum analysis, an oscilloscope function to view complex waveforms, a base decay function identifies room modes and helps determine proper subwoofer placement. Getting started with the OmniMic is easy. First, you'll install the software from the blue disc that came with the system. It's compatible with Windows XP, Vista, and 7. If you're using the OmniMic for the first time, download the calibration file from the Dayton Audio website. Once you've got it downloaded, open the OmniMic V2 software, go to Config, Mic ID, and click on File Cal. You'll then find the calibration file that you downloaded from the Dayton Audio website and click Apply. At that point, the OmniMic V2 should be set up and ready to go. Let's check out some of the cool things you can do with it. You can choose the measurement you'd like to make by clicking the corresponding tab. Choose the frequency response analyzer to measure the frequency response or impulse response of a sound system, speaker, or raw driver. The frequency response is a curve that shows how an audio source reproduces different parts of the frequency range. Clicking the SPL meter slash spectrum analyzer allows you to see the level of any sounds on the SPL meter face or the spectrum of any sounds on the spectrum analyzer graph. Use the oscilloscope function to view any sound waveforms. These might include music, your voice, or waveforms played by loudspeakers. You can use the distortion function to properly measure distortion of a raw driver or speaker. The reverberation tab will measure how quickly sound reflections die down in a room and will depend on the frequency range of the sound, the size and shape of the room, what's in the room, and how the room surfaces are constructed. The bass decay analyzer will measure how bass notes decay in a room. When a bass note is stopped within music, the sound of the room at some frequencies may still continue for some time. That's because the sound reflects back and forth between the walls, resonating and forming modes before eventually dying down. Now that you've got an idea what the OmniMic V2 can do and learned a little bit about its basic functions, you're ready to start measuring. Check out ParsExpress.com for more information on the OmniMic and full support. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns, and free tech support. PartsExpress.com, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components.